Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I will show you how to make very easy, very cheap, but very effective CO2 system. I will show you how to do it step by step. I will share the recipe I'm using for this and list every single piece of equipment that you need. When it comes to the equipment, the only thing that you're gonna need is a pair of scissors. Next, you're gonna need some rubber tubing, common plastic safety valve, CO2 diffuser, around 10 grams of powdered yeast, one 2 liter plastic bottle, uh, one smaller one, but this one filled with water, one liter of water, 400 grams of sugar, and finally two cups that look like this. You can very easily find them on Amazon, but anyway I will leave the link below the video and they are actually dedicated for the systems like this. If you don't want to buy, you can very easily make them yourself, but I prefer buying because they are actually very good quality and there is zero chance of CO2 leaking from your system. It looks like we have everything, so let's get to work. Okay, we're gonna start with putting all the sugar into the water. I'm always doing this at the beginning to make sure that the sugar is fully dissolved in the water. It will take some time, so give it a good stir and just leave it on the side. In the meantime, when the sugar is dissolving, we can do other things. Next, we're gonna cut a small piece of rubber tube to install our safety valve. Those parts are not specialized. This is standard rubber tubing used in air stones and sponge filters. Now we're gonna place one side of this small piece of rubber tube on our safety valve. And the next side, we're gonna attach to our cup. Again, we're gonna try to attach the tube as hard as we can, and we're gonna use the safety screws to make the connection airtight. And this is one of the biggest advantages of those cups. They are very safe, they are very good at handling big pressure, and you don't have to worry about any leaks. The next step would be to connect those cups together. So cut another piece of this rubber tubing, but this time make it a little bit longer and simply connect those two cups together using three slots. And this is how it should look like when you're done. Now we have to again cut a piece of rubber tubing, but this time try to be a little bit more precise. We're gonna cut the piece that is more or less equal to the height of the smaller bottle. Now we're gonna attach it to the cup but this time we're gonna do this from the bottom. So you want to attach it to the cup without the safety valve and you want to attach it on the same side that is already connected to another cup. Now it's time to put our yeast to the bigger bottle. Best way to do it is to use a funnel, but if you don't have one, just use a sheet of paper. And just like that, our yeast is inside. Of course, if you prefer, you can use fresh yeast, but for me, the dry powder yeast is just more convenient. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of our sweet water into the big bottle with yeast inside. I'm adding no more than 10% of the water I prefer. I'm doing this to activate the yeast and mix everything together. Give it a good shake and wait for the yeast to mix with the water. While our yeast is dissolving and activating, we can finish our system. We have one final tube that we have to connect. As you can see, this one already has a diffuser attached to it. This will obviously go into our tank. But the second end of this tube needs to get connected to one remaining slot in our cap. After everything that we have done, this is how your system should look like. Okay, we are ready to go back to our mixture. As you can see, our yeast is dissolved because the water changed its color. So we can safely add the rest of the sweet water into the big bottle. Before you do that, it's good to check if the sugar is completely dissolved in your water. In my case, everything is fine, so I'm putting all the water into the bottle. Now we are finally ready to close the system and start producing CO2. We're gonna start from the cup with the safety valve. 
put it on the top of the big bottle and screw it very, very tightly. And of course, make sure that your safety valve is completely closed. Next, we put the, the second cap on the second bottle. In the meantime, I changed the smaller bottle because I didn't like how the thread on it looked like and I don't want to risk with any leaks. And it's very important that the rubber tubing from the second cup is on the bottom of the bottle. Don't let it float to the top of the bottle above the water level. And just like that, we are done. You don't see it right now, but the yeast in the big bottle already starts to produce CO2. Before you see the results, it needs some time because the pressure in the bottle needs to build up and it's actually quite difficult to push any gas through the diffuser. Let's install the diffuser in the tank and see what happens in a few hours. This is how the system looks like next to my tank. And obviously the only part that goes into the tank is the rubber tubing with the diffuser at the end. And just one hour later, I can see some bubbles on top of the bigger bottle. And in the smaller one, you can already see bubbles of CO2 floating up. The pressure is still building inside, but we already see the signs of something pushing to the diffuser. And 10 hours later, that's what happened. Diffuser is spitting out crazy amount of small CO2 bubble. The pressure in the system raised rapidly and we have beautiful CO2 mist coming to the tank. You can see that this is directly connected to our CO2 system. And this is the footage from six days later. As you can see, the CO2 is still being produced and the production rate hasn't changed at all. And speaking from experience, it should last for at least two weeks, but it all depends on how much yeast you put into the system at the very beginning. More yeast you put in, the faster it will use all the sugar. But obviously, it will give you much more CO2. And this is how you can balance the production of CO2. If you have a very small tank, just put a very small amount of yeast at the beginning and the rate would be very slow. And the build video for the tank I'm showing you right now, it's coming very soon, so stay tuned. For now, thank you very much for watching. And if you like the video, please leave a like, I really appreciate it. See you next time.